Hey guys, what's up? This is Blake with SmartHomeSD.com. Uh, thanks all for all you guys for subscribing to my channel. Um, you know, liking my videos, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's turning out good. Uh, I've been super busy with my e-commerce site. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, go take a look. It's in development still, but you know, I'm adding products daily and whatnot. Um, as well as uh, I'm I'm here obviously to make another YouTube video. Um, and today we're really going to be focusing on triggers, new scenes, and schedules. Uh, for this demo, we're going to be using a Vera 3, a 3-in-1 multi-sensor, and an Evolve light switch. Um, so let's get started. All right, so go ahead and go into your uh, web browser. I already have mine open to my Vera. Um, I'm using a Vera 3 today. doesn't matter if you're on a Vera 3 or Vera Lite. It will work just the same. Um, and here is my two devices that I'm going to use in this demo to walk you through the automation tab. Um, I've had a lot of questions on this, and it is a little confusing, but hopefully <clears throat> once you watch this video, it won't be so much. So what we want to do is be able to walk into our living room during certain times where the lights come on. Um, and in order to do that, we need to make two scenes. One that will set up a schedule for it, and the other what will actually happen, the lights coming on for this instance. So let's go into our automation tab, and the first thing we're going to do is set up the scene that actually turns on the, the lights. Um, so pretty much anywhere you start here, you're going to be going to new scene. So let's go to new scene, and this is the new scene page, and we're going to name this scene to living room wake up. This is great if you get up early in the morning or you get up in the middle of the night. Uh, my living room is right between my bedroom and the kitchen. So if I'm going there to get a glass of water or something like that, I don't need to turn on a light switch. I just walk through there and it picks me up and lights come on. It's pretty neat. Um, so we're going to name it living, uh, living uh, room wake up. And uh, on this page, we're telling what's going to happen. So we're going to have our lights come on, obviously. And we're going to set it to 100%. You can set it to dim at 50 or, or whatever. If you have a dimmer, it'll, it'll go back to whatever you have set here. So it's, that's pretty neat. And then um, we're going to uh, go ahead and go into our triggers. What's actually going to trigger us or trigger the light to come on? And that's us walking through the living room. And so our trigger is actually going to be the motion sensor. So let's go into trigger tab. And we're going to add a trigger. And the device will be the motion sensor. Now, the motion sensor has three things, obviously. And you have to make sure you pick the motion. That's what's going to be picked up. So motion. And um, this next tab. For this instance, now you can use a non-armed um, sensor for this, or you can use an armed sensor. Now, I want to use an armed because only during certain times of the day I want this to happen. And we're going to go into the scheduling in just a sec, so just kind of follow me here. But we're going to use an arm sensor is tripped. And we're going to say um, this will be named living room motion. Uh, is the trigger and we want this to be set to uh, device armed is tripped so make sure that's right this next little section right here is if you wanted a text message or an email or whatever I there's no reason for that so I'm gonna leave that blank and I'm gonna save this now so I'm gonna confirm changes and I'm gonna save and I'm gonna press continue to confirm that and you'll see up here that the unit is busy it's kind of uh, programming all that um, you can keep moving on here the next thing that we see on this page under scenes is this is going to be the living room wake up oops I'm sorry let's go back sorry let's go to uh, let's go to cancel this is the living room wake up I accidentally clicked that um, if I run this right now my lights should come on that's what we set um, if I walk through the living room right now nothing will happen because 
my sensor is not armed. Now if I pressed armed here, it will, once I walk through the living room, it's going to turn on those lights. Now we only want this to work during certain times of the day, right? So we're going to set up a schedule that only certain times of the day this thing is armed. So we're going to go into automation again and we're going to uh, create a new scene and for this instance we're going to say living room armed and we need to click the arm button. So when this scene runs during the schedule it's going to arm this and in essence we'll then once we walk through the living room we'll turn on the lights. I know it's all coming together now. Um, so we're going to go into uh, schedules and we're going to add a new schedule and for this instance we're going to be um, day of the week basis and we're going to just choose every single day. Now this you can go in here and you can really customize it like oh only Monday mornings I get up at this time so I only need it to come on during this time or, or whatnot whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to choose every single day and let's see here you can uh, you can pick before sunrise after sunrise da 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 I'm just going to do a certain time a day and um, all practicality obviously you do it before sunrise because that's when the there's no light so but we're going to choose, um, we'll just say 11, uh, we'll say now, 11.19, there's my time, 11.19, um, that this will arm. So let's press, uh, let's first name this, sorry. Let's say living room armed. These names don't have to correlate. It's all for your reference. Um, so it doesn't really matter. And then to get a little tricky, we can either set another scene to disarm it or another scene to, um, I'm sorry, or in the same scene, we can actually set a delay. So let's first, let's go ahead and just confirm this first and we'll move on. We'll go into our uh, devices again. And so at 11.19, that's when this scene will activate. Now we can actually deactivate this scene by managing delays, or you can create another scene. Today we're just gonna manage the, the delay. So right here, manage delay, and I'm gonna pick hours. Oops, no, right here. You need to first put in a number. So I'm gonna say, um, actually for this demo, I'm just gonna use 20 minutes just so it works right. 20 minute delay, that's added there. And you can see that nothing is selected, which is what we want. Now if I go back here just to show you, to immediate, when this scene's activated, immediately it's gonna arm. 20 minutes later, we're gonna bypass it. So in essence, when you walk through the room at 1119, the sensor's armed, it's gonna pick you up, and it's gonna shoot a signal through the Vera to turn on those lights. As I walk through there 20 minutes later, it's gonna by or I'm so, yeah, it's gonna bypass the motion sensor, and you're gonna walk through there and no lights will come on. It's pretty cool, right? So we're gonna confirm these changes. We're gonna save, and I'm just gonna show you a rundown of this real fast. Let's go uh, back into our home automation tab. You can see the two scenes here. Living room armed, living room wake up. Um, it's, it's a little, uh, little funky, you know, how, how you have to make different scenes for this, but it's all gonna work out just fine. Um, so let's go to devices, and, uh, and that's, I'm clicking around now, but that's really all you need to do. Um, so I'm gonna set up a camera in the living room and I'm gonna show you that this thing really does work. All right, there you have it. Um, I had someone over there turn on the switch. No, I'm just kidding. If you had the same setup as I did and you went through the same steps, you'd have the same results as I did. Um, here is 
the, uh, the motion sensor. I just had it placed right here for right now. Um, as I walk through it, pick me up, turn on the lights. In about 20 minutes from now, that's going to deactivate that, so it's going to bypass that, and that won't happen anymore. Um, I'm going to show you one other thing. We're going to go back to the computer, and I'm going to show you how to, um, say you want the lights to, to stay on. Um, we're going we're gonna to actually set it for 10 seconds, and that way when you walk through here, especially at nighttime, it's only going to come on for 10 seconds, and then it's going to come, then it's going to turn off. I also wanted to show you one other thing that I've been working on, and um, it had to, this is just a sneak peek, but it had to do with a lot of questions on the, uh, the Vera Light um, YouTube video, and that's how do you control your home theater PC. Well, I just wanted to show you really quickly here that um, I have a tablet, and uh, while this is booting up, I went ahead and turned on my home theater PC and my receiver and TV right now. Um, I can show you that I can also control the lights. So this is a great way to intertwine it all. This will be a future video. Um, it's really cool. I got my home theater PC here, but uh, enough of that for right now. We're going to go back to the computer. I'm going to show you how to set up the, de the delay so that your lights will actually turn off. All right, awesome, right? Um, we're back on the computer now. Um, and uh, I wanted to show you one more thing. Now, let's say we walk through there and we only want the light to stay on for, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds. Um, we can do that. And the reason for this is obviously to save some energy and you're really only using that light just to, to get a bearing, especially if you're setting this up like in the middle of the night or something like that. Um, all we have to do is go back into our, uh, let's see here, living room, wake up, and we're going to press the, the, the wrench tool, and we're going to set a, de um, a delay for this. So right when it comes on, it's on, and we're going to manage delays, and we are going to pick... Um, 10 seconds close and we're gonna set the lights to turn off and that's it we're done we're gonna confirm changes save it it's gonna reload um, once you walk through the the living room or whatever you got it's only gonna stay on for 10 seconds now you can change times you can change whatever this is just to give you a base on the automation tab. You should now be able to, to uh, choose different light switches and, and whatnot. It, it's very flexible. You just have to kind of um, think of it in a different way than you normally would, almost working backwards. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please uh, leave them on the, on the form. I will uh, get back to you as, as soon as I can. Definitely go and uh, check out my e-commerce site. Um, if you guys want some discounts, email me directly. Um, every once in a while I have some things popping up that I can't really advertise on the site, but I can advertise directly to you over uh, via email. Um, so, yep, thanks for watching. Have a great day.